the buzz for weeks around town and for the last several days we've been watching the artists putting the finishing touches on their creations right now we are in the parking lot of the bob in downtown grand rapids that's right and today is the day art prize 2010 becomes a reality first mm -hmm. introduced of course by art prize founder rick devos in april of 2009 art prize is part arts festival part social experiment doling out the largest monetary prize for artwork an international contest solely decided by public vote. Yes, well, the first year of Art Prize took the city and the entire community, in fact, by storm, drawing tens of thousands of people to our city, art in every shape, size, and medium that artists could dream of. And get this, $440,000 in prize money split among the artists. Well, get ready, West Michigan Art Prize 2010 kicking off in a little less than seven hours from right now. And yeah. 8 West is your destination helping you get ready to make the most of your art prize experience. Of course, everybody knows in West Michigan that some storms blew in last night. We started to see some damage, and art prize did not escape from that. In fact, we want to walk over here into the parking lot of the Bob. Terry, I was telling you a little bit earlier this week that my family and I were doing some art prize walking around, looking at the installations on Sunday. We were here, I snapped a photograph of this piece right here, and it was a beautiful cascading fountain, a sculpture of sorts, but the winds that took place last night that blew through the Grand Rapids area kind of made that tumble on its side. We're not sure what's gonna be happening with the artist and this piece, if it can be salvaged in time for the competition. But this is just one example of uh, some of the effect of the weather that blew through last night and this morning. That's right, and you know, we had winds over 70 miles an hour. We're not out of the woods in terms of the potential for more thunderstorms before the end of the week and right. even more gusty winds. So of course, you've got you covered. Live8.com is your mobile destination for yes. weather information and real-time weather information along with our live Doppler. Yeah, it's important as you go out and experience our prize that you also stay connected with what the weather is going to be like. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, the art is, of course, new this year, Art Prize 2010. There's still a lot of that's the same from last year. That's right. Organizers, of course, taking a lot of feedback after last year's maiden voyage, and they tweaked a few things. In fact, there are going to be a few changes in this year's Art Prize makeup, so we sat down with Art Prize organizer Rick DeVos. Well, the calm before the storm here in the Wood TV lobby with Rick DeVos a week before the art prize beginning. And we want to talk to you about the new stuff this year. You know, here we are, yep. the second year. What's new? Uh, we have these, this concept called exhibition centers. So if you checked out the old federal building and the UICA last year, those were kind of the idea of what an exhibition center is. It's an institution that curates a space and presents a really professional sort of uh, show and experience. So uh, we have partners everywhere from the Grand Rapids Art Museum to the Grand Rapids Public Museum to Grand Valley State University to um, the Women's uh, City Club, uh, all kind of presenting uh, really great sh great shows and, and these exhibition centers will be a really great, great place to kind of start your art prize experience. Um, we have uh, a really great partnership with the Rapid this year where you can purchase a $5 art prize wristband and get access to the entire Rapid uh, system uh, all for the duration of art prize. A really great way to get around uh, as well as a dedicated art prize shuttle that we're providing that you need a wrist wristband to access that loops to all the exhibition centers. Um, we have, along with those exhibition centers, this uh, idea of, of neighborhood days and neighborhood kind of block parties. So there's going to be all these sort of events happening in different neighborhoods pretty much every night uh, of the week, uh, a different excuse to get out to a different section of Grand Rapids and explore that. You know, and it sounds like a lot of these new things this year sort of grew out of the experiences people had last year and ID brainstorming about how can we make this better? How can we yep. make this even more user-friendly? Describe that process that you went through during the off-season. Yeah, absolutely. We took a, a, just a ton of feedback. Uh, last year was such an amazing success, far exceeded all of our expectations. So, uh, But the goal this year was actually to change as little as possible the fundamentals of how our prize works, because we were so happy with, with how much the, the, the community kind of grabbed onto it and became a part of it. Yeah, it was uh, that grassroots. I mean, that yeah. really made it so unique, even though it was this massive event that ended up happening. 
It was all about those personal connections, yep. really. Yep. So How do you make it better without destroying it? Exactly. It, and it, it comes down to keeping the fundamentals the same because it's so distributed, because there's so many people involved. If we change the fundamentals, all the learning that we all went through last year would be you know, no longer effective. So uh, we have um, kind of added things here and there. So this idea of exhibition centers, this idea of parties. We have uh, an additional artcation day where we're going to bring students into downtown. So it's really just kind of these, these smaller sort of interventions, kind of trying to, to bolster certain types of behavior and certain, uh, certain days and places and events and stuff. And stuff. But, but overall, the fundamentals are, are the same of, of how it works and how the conversation unfolds. And conversation is really a big part of it. I know Absolutely. last year the dialogue that kind of started up between the artists and people who were becoming new fans of their work, people who were just being introduced to the idea of yep. art for the first time. I mean, describe kind of how the newness of the events this year will help to even make that those connections that much greater for people. Well, we have a, a, a new kind of concept this year called the Hub at the old federal building that's going to be kind of a great uh, uh, headquarters sort of for our prize. So you're going to be able to register to vote there. You're going to be able to see all the social media conversations that are going on, Twitter, Facebook. And if you're not familiar with those tools, we'll be able to help You've you kind of rock, un yeah. <laughs> be able to help you kind of figure those out. Uh, and be able to find those those conversations and take part in them yourself. So uh, that's one way we're, we're trying to enrich that sort of conversation. But again, you know the the events that we're doing, those neighborhood parties, trying to bring people together in spaces and create those sort of random collisions that happen between people and uh, those sort of uh, recommendations. Of, Did you see this? You need to check that out. And, all of that, we're, we're trying to, to make sure we have as many of those as possible. All right, and it's just getting started. Wow, so much buzz around the start of our prize today. That's where you can feel the energy, the enthusiasm, the excitement yes. here in downtown Grand Rapids. And as Rick told us, there are some changes from last year and plenty of additions, too. Yeah, so we wanted to take a look at our prize by the numbers. We're going to talk a little bit about last year. There were 1,262 artists at 159 venues around the Art Prize area, and the event drew in some 200,000 visitors. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, the first year of the event brought in artists from 41 states, 14 different countries, and in the end, more than 334,000 votes were cast. That's a third of a million. That's crazy. <laughs> this year, there are more than 1,700 artists at uh -huh. almost 200 venues across Grand Rapids. Those artists representing 44 states and 15 countries. Yeah, so with those numbers increasing, we could only hope that things actually are bigger and better for Art Prize 2010. It's very exciting because this is a day, it feels a little bit like Christmas right now. Oh, yeah. So much excitement ahead. So much enthusiasm as well, and a little bit of a dampening this morning for some of the artists, yeah. especially with these outdoor displays and exhibits because of the powerful winds that ripped through West Michigan last night. We're here with artist Denise, or architect Denise Hopkins. This is your masterpiece. And Denise, I have wow. to ask you, how were you able to escape the damage that some of the people right around you experienced? Right, well, my partner, Stephanie Schlatter, and I designed Uncorked with the structural engineer so that we would try to avoid those things. Um, and Uncorked is an occupied space. It's not something that you look at from the outside. So we're really concerned about um, the health and safety of the people right. that visit our piece. Well, yours is unique because you look at it and some are, you know, really big pieces, but you have things dangling from <laughs> rods and pipes in here. And so this is obviously good going in. Nothing happened with your piece, but does it serve as a good reminder to make sure everything is intact as we start? Oh, it absolutely does. And um, Blue Water Technologies and Pioneer Construction built this for us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, both those companies had individuals here this morning to ensure they check things out. You know, they were here before I arrived, so it's amazing yep. to have local teams like that. Sure is. You know, they really partnered up with us. Right. Well, you do have dedicated partners, Denise. I was here at 445 this morning, and they were hard at work already. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank and you. And good luck right. in the Art Prize competition. <laughs> yes. We do have a lot more coming up for you throughout the next hour. Yes, we do. And throughout the show, we're actually going to be taking a look back to some of our favorite pieces from last year. That's right. The winner 
Open Water Number 24 by Rand Ortner of Brooklyn, New York, on display most of this year at the Grand Rapids Art Museum, more recently moved to the brand new wine bar reserve. Open Water was purchased by Dick and Betsy DeVos to recently open reserve, so if you didn't see it last year at Art Prize, you can still check it out at reserve. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Your all-access pass to everything West Michigan.